Yeah, I'm telling you. Everybody's getting older. Everybody's getting older. This is my last year, too. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to miss you. Huh? I'm going to miss you. <laughs> you know that. I'm going to miss the people, though, you know. Basically what I'm doing, getting the volunteer list set up, make sure everybody's uh, going to be here and how to coordinate you know, with me to where they go mm -hmm. and, uh, and walk around and look pretty, you know, that's basically put on fire. Hey, hey Bobby. Good morning, Steve. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Did you see that planet in the sky coming in this morning? Yeah. Right over here? The sky is, the sky is completely overcast. You can hardly see any stars. All of a sudden, right over here, right over top of the uh, main part of Beaver Falls, is this huge, bright light. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming it's a planet reflecting, but there, since I was driving in, I looked at that, and I, it hit me, and I said, what is tonight? What is today? What is? Birth of Christ, star in the sky. I said, wow, mm -hmm. how neat that is. If nothing else, obviously, it's not it. Oh, I can't say that. God does what he wants. But it's a cool reminder of what the night was for, so. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty-five years ago, approximately, uh, my husband and I were getting ready to go to sleep, and he rolled over in bed and said to me, I have an idea about Christmas. And this was about three weeks before Christmas. And I said, what is that? And he said, we have been serving the community. On Easter, we were serving on Thanksgiving. We were going into all the housing sites and taking teams of people. And we were cooking meals, like, uh, to the elderly and to the housing residents. Mm -hmm. And he had this crazy idea, he said to me, I think we should do Christmas dinner. And I said, to who? And he said, to the city. And I said, please go back and go to sleep. And he said, no, I'm serious. Why can't we do for Christmas what we do on every other holiday on the day itself? And I said, well, who's going to come? And we had between, people were coming in and out. We were so shocked. We ended up, I think, right like between 60, maybe 100. I mean, all the gloves and the hats that we had were gone. The dinners were eaten, got people off the street. And it wasn't just Beaver Falls. It was everywhere. You know, people said, I heard about this. We came from New Brighton, from Elwood City, places. Just people were so happy and so thrilled. And that's how it all began. And when we were done, I think we were all so grateful that we decided, well, let's do it next year. But let's add. So we started sending out letters to businesses, churches, and agencies. It's just grown. Wow. It was decided that if that's really my heart's desire and my husband's, that it would be a dinner from the community to the community. And this is our 25th year. My name is Rebecca Fikasalopek. I'm the care outreach coordinator for Christian Assembly of Beaver Falls, but I could not have moved forward, nor my husband, without the beginning help of my church. They were the foundation. And my volunteers still are. Can these be stacked? Uh, yes, thank you. Oh, that's right. There's just um, apples and oh, mm. smell them.
this is our second year. Second year. Mm -hmm. and hopefully there will be many more. We wanted to give back to the community, something to do on Christmas that was helping others. And this was the perfect thing for us. My mom was always a great cook, so I, I, I grew up, you know, smelling baked bread, you know, in the yeast in the morning before going to school, and she's kind of my muse because she loved to cook. For her, she enjoyed doing it, uh, and she enjoyed doing it for us, and, uh, you know, had no idea she was inspiring me the whole time. And she's, she's proud of the fact that I kept it up, and this is what I've been doing. My name's Scott Pierce. I am chef and owner of Farm to Fork. I've known Rebecca, or Becky, back, back then it was Ficka, the Fickas. They were my, my neighbors. She asked if I would do it, and I said, sure. I've been doing it for the last two years, and I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing it for the people um, in, you know, in need or, or in need of a free meal. Um, for Christmas Day, uh, it's a good feeling to, to give back a little bit, and that's, that's my opportunity to do that. Sure, go ahead. Um, I think there's supposed to be a couple more people coming, they said. They were looking for a driver for Christmas Day, and I thought I'd uh, kind of volunteer to uh, drive the people to their meal. My name's Don Connors. I'm a driver for McCarter's uh, Transit, and we're going to uh, pick up people on um, Christmas Day and take them to a, a meal at uh, Beaver Falls High School. We're going to be making about 13 stops uh, throughout the area and picking up different people at different places. My name's Don, and we'll be going on to, um, let me see, Ambridge next. Unfortunately, we have a lot of stops to make, so you're going to get a good tour of the Beaver County area. <laughs> Sit back, relax. If it gets too warm back there, let me know. I'm Michelle. This is. I'm Raymond Spiraga. I moved back when my uncle Ziggy died, and then we had their his house. I had trouble keeping up with the thing and everything. I moved here in '09. Well, I like to work on word search, the jigsaw puzzles. It's gonna be my fourth year, and this is Jack's second year. I think it really shows everybody the spirit of Christmas. Ah. Uh, I just don't have families. 
this house to go to, so I'm going to get a free meal and a present. Uh, <laughs> I'm Ted Janicki. Uh, I've been in Hambridge all my life. I'm 65 years old and I'm going to see Santa. <laughs> You're gonna go see Santa? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Michael Tucker, 45 years old, from Alapupa. And I'm gonna eat Christmas dinner today. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess just kind of tell me, uh, introduce yourselves, I guess, and tell me what brought you here, I guess. Okay, my name is uh, Robert Bowers. This is my uh, wife, Sylvia. We normally live outside the country in Nicaragua. And initially we came back because I had a medical problem. What it is that you're... Yes, it's cancer. It's cancer? Yeah, it's cancer. It's an external, ca well, it's internal, of course, but it's not in the throat. Okay. Looks, they think it's in the, uh, one of the glands here on the neck. And uh, I go in tomorrow morning for my first treatment. Well, we've seen advertisements all over town. And everybody is asking us, are you going to the Christmas dinner? I said, I have to, actually. Oh, I'm so curious. And then I did a little research on this Christmas dinner. And I saw the lady that's responsible for a lot of this. She's a doer. She is. She, is, she gets yeah. things done. Rebecca, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, we never figured that we would be on this side of the event like this. We are always yeah. on the serving side, and we never realized that sometime we would be needy and someone would be helping us. Actually, we had bought tickets to fly home on the 6th of December here because I did not think that I would have the ability to get treatment here, the money or anything else. Uh, we had initially stayed with a family member and the family member decided after two weeks that he shouldn't have invited us there, he wanted us out. At the end of that, we went out on the street for almost a full day. Where at Beaver Falls? Right here, and right in Beaver Falls. Uh, after that, we... Uh, found a, an apartment building that had a for rent sign. Okay. And I said, well, let's take a shot and call. I explained that this was the sixth of the month and the 21st of the month is when I get my social security. And she stood for a second and she said, that's not a problem. And she said, you don't need a deposit either. And ever since then, everything that we have needed has somehow been here for us. We had never run into a community the same as this. It's the people. We have run into so many fine people that ask nothing in return. We have run into people that said, why don't you come over here and eat during the week and do this and do that. Everything from food, to clothing. We've traveled all over the country and in and out of the country and lived many different places. But there is none like Beaver Falls. It is unique. It's kind of given me back 
some of my faith in humanity that I had really started to lose after a while. I feel that, that we are servant leaders. We should try to emulate Christ and wash the feet of his people. Research studies have proven Christmas is the most difficult holiday for people. Everything, loneliness, despair. And again, it comes back to, I don't care where you live, we all need help. We all need the love of Christ. I feel that that's a calling on my heart, it's always been. So that's, that's our story. Here we are 25 years ago that he rolled over and said to me, I'd like to cook for Christmas, and I said, go to sleep. Do I know where we're going to go from here? I can't tell you right now, but I didn't know 25 years ago. So I'm, I'm very hopeful. And the hand of God has proven ever, ever, ever so faithful. We're just instruments. This isn't Rebecca's dinner or Steve's dinner. This is the annual free Christmas dinner. Thank you.